All right, we are live. What is going on, everybody? Hello, hello, hello. We're going to let some people roll in here. Let's see. All right, what is going on? Hello. We're going to be doing some tech stuff. All right, guys, so uh, welcome to the very first episode of Ivy's Gaming Tech. So uh, Ivy's Gaming Tech is all about um, doing, you know, tech-related reviews, unboxings, and uh, looking over upgrades and things like that um, as it regards to gaming. So we're going to be installing a uh, awesome piece of hardware that I got from uh, EVGA, um, and it is a water cooler that goes on top of my uh, GPU. So we're going to take my, my PC, we're going to open it up, we're going to take out the uh, the GPU, we're going to take off the stock cooler, we're going to put the custom cooler on it, and uh, let's let's go ahead and uh, let's let's roll the intro here. All right, welcome to it, everybody. Appreciate you guys all for being here. Once again, this is the very first episode of Ivy's Gaming Tech, and uh, we're going to have some fun today. I hope you guys are all excited. I am super pumped. Let me just get some windows set up here on my uh, PC. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Okay, cool. Um, all right, so let's let's get the hardware. Get the goods, let's do the unboxing. So first things first, we got this again from EVGA. Minuto Man, Minuto Man, renewing the membership. Appreciate that, man. You are awesome. Awesome, awesome. So I have not even opened this up yet. So guys, we're gonna go through this whole adventure today. I hope you guys are in it for the long haul. Any of you guys on the work and lurk. Throw this stuff over this way. There she is. Oh boy. The EVGA Hybrid Gaming. Awesome. So we're going to go ahead and slide this thing out here. Awesome, awesome. Uh, let's see. We also have this shot here, guys, for the unboxing. So we can get right in there and see all the cool stuff going on. Don't mind the uh, the banging around. The microphone is on the desk. I apologize if that's that's a little noisy. Okay, so first things first. This is the yeah, we'll go ahead and switch back to this view for now until we start really getting in there. Welcome to all the new viewers popping in, guys. We're going to be having some fun today. So this is the piece that actually attaches to the GPU. Okay. Oh, man, this is going to be intense. This is going to be intense. This is going to be some, some crazy stuff going on. So this is the, the piece that attaches to the GPU and provides cooling. Oh boy! There, look at that. We got we got a fan with uh, fun stuff on it, and this is the new shroud that's going to go on top of the GPU. So this this is specifically made for my model. Um, let's see here. So I have the um, the EVGA. Uh, what model is it? The um, the XC. I have the the XC Ultra. 
So this is specifically made for my model. There's a, it also will work on all Founders Editions 2080 Ti's and a few other uh, EVGA specific models. But any Founders Editions uh, PCB, this will work on. And a lot of the early 2080 Ti's that were released, even if they were third party um, models, oh, I love that sound. Um, were, were reference PCBs. So even if you bought it from Databyte or, or um, MSI, you have to check and see if it's a reference PCB that they use, and then you can use the, the same cooler. So we're gonna make a mess over here. Put all this stuff down. Awesome, so that's the shroud. We're gonna have to definitely follow the instructions extremely close so this is telling you to install the radiator above above where the uh gpu is because you want to have the liquid come down into the into the pump in case you have any air bubbles oh boy look at all the hardware look at all the little tiny screws what is this Uh, FN, what's going on? Finuto man, appreciate all you guys being here. You guys are awesome. Uh, we have, this is an additional uh, heat spreader that goes on top of the VRM. The 2080 Ti is pretty unique, which is it has VRMs on both sides of the GPU. So you need to make sure, that's why you can't just use some of the other coolers that are out there, because so they will only cool one side of the VRM and not both. So EVGA made this one specifically to put both sides of the VRM on the uh, on the graphics card. So here is the actual um, radiator and fan and the pump and the cold block that goes on top of the GPU. That's everything we're going to be installing there. We're going to leave that. We're going to move this stuff off to the side. So I have to grab the PC from behind me. We're going to take the... Uh, Take the GPU out of the of the PC now. I should have done that first, but you know we got a small desk to work with. Might as well. All right. All right. Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to this shot here. Let me grab the PC. Test one two. Can you guys hear me? Uh, yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. Cool. So I figured I'm gonna take advantage of this time to also clean out the PC and clean off, uh, clean out some of the dust. It's been it's been a little bit since I moved, since I cleaned it. I want to make sure I do that as well. I'll flip this down this way. Oh yeah. Okay. And welcome to all the new viewers popping in. I appreciate you guys for being here. J Spot, what's going on? Welcome, welcome. Gotta clean that glass panel. So many fingerprints. So many fingerprints. You know, make sure we don't drop the glass. Uh, let's see, where did my screwdriver go? I mean, I got cobwebs in here. That's not good. <laughs> one cobweb, one little cobweb. Uh, let's see. Oh, we have some music too for the background. Let's let's get that going. Just a little background music, not too much. Go. I 
I really appreciate you guys all being out there. How many of you guys are, on, are out work right now? How many are on the work and lurk? Tuning in. Get back to work. <laughs> Ivy says so. Oh, we got to turn that this way. Hold on one sec, guys. Okay. Hey, I should have that music going there a little bit. Got home from work. Esmeral, welcome. Just no working today or done done working for the day. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, I got the day off. Um, I actually got this in the mail yesterday. I really wanted to install it last night. Okay. Power is disconnected. Screws are undone. to ditch this computer off to the side. I'm gonna put her down here for one sec. First things first, we gotta make sure we uh, we read all the instructions. All the instructions are gonna be very important. We don't have to take this guy completely apart, and that's actually a process. There's quite a few screws involved in taking this guy apart. Luckily, the instructions are pretty pretty good. Okay, so first thing first, we have to remove 20 screws from the back plate. Monkey screws must be removed from the back plate. Those are all Phillips. I'm gonna use the little guy here. Let's move all this crap out of the way. I need a bitter desk. You know, you buy something and you're like, man, that'll be plenty of room for doing this kind of stuff. Well, it's not. I need more space. Okay, 20 screws. We gotta remember where these all go. So guys, help, help me keep track in the chat there. Help me keep track where all these screws go, all right? Got four big ones. These are actually holding the GPU on. They're the most important ones. Let me see, does it tell me to unscrew these four yet? These are 
actually spring loaded. I don't know if you can see that there's a little spring on the sprue. It helps keep the tension on the uh, just remove the little EVGA sticker over one of the screws so there goes the warranty I did a hashtag we don't need no sticker warranty in the chat yeah count them I don't know if the music is too loud. I can uh, lower that down a bit more. <laughs> we don't need no stinking warranty. That's right, Benito man. I'll go ahead and have a seat here, guys, while we're out doing all these screws. Yeah, air does last longer, but water's cooler. Water's cooler. <laughs> all right. Welcome to all the new viewers that are popping in, guys. I appreciate you all for being here. Once again, we are installing the EVGA uh, hybrid mod um, cooler onto our 2080 Ti right now. Uh, this retails for one, um, I think it was 169, which is not bad considering the, the um, 2080 Ti's that come with a water cooler already on them. I kind of wish I had bought one of those to begin with. It would save me all this all this tr trouble. Um, you know, they're about two hundred dollars more uh, than the than, <coughs> than if you uh, buy it, you know, buy it separate like this. So, you know, we saved a couple bucks. I guess I looked at it that way. So I'm trying to keep these screws lined up on the table with where they go some of the lengths it looks like these are all about the same length but uh, i want to make sure i get them all back to the same spots going back we are going to use this uh, back um, back plate still on the gpu So I was going to do this as a pre-recorded, um, you know, thing, but I figured I, I, I you know, I'm, I, I do all my gaming live streams live, so why not do the, the hardware build and everything else live, um, you know, so let me know what you guys think about that, if you'd prefer to see this type of content pre-recorded and edited, or if you liked it better live. I, I personally like being able to interact with you guys and you guys be able to do it, you know, come along in real time, um, but let me know in the chat for sure. All right, so we do remove these two. Beautiful. Uh, 
Well, these actually have a bolt. Okay. Mental note. These two have a bolt. I'm just gonna screw that back on. We'll flip back around so you guys can see what we got going on. So the two here and here have a little tiny bolt on them. We have to remember that. This one as well? No, this one does not. It was just that top one. Or just the bottom one. Just the one in the bottom here. So that now should allow the back plate to come off. There are thermal pads here that it's stuck to. Go ahead and remove. I'd like to try and keep those thermal pads. You know what, do I need to remove it? I probably don't need to remove the, the back plate. I'm gonna leave it on there for now. There's no point in removing it if we're gonna keep it on there. Those thermal pads will stay. All right, now we have to loosen uh, loosen, but do, do not remove the screws circled on the bracket in the image to the right. It will tighten both the bracket and these screws at a later step. There's no need to remove the bracket to complete all steps. Okay, so we need to loosen these screws, but do not remove. I am in picture two, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're gonna need a tinier screwdriver for that. Archie, what's going on? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, if I screw something up, it's live? Yeah, I hear ya. That is scary. I won't screw it up, though. My 28 yeah, it's my baby. <laughs> it says to loosen them, it doesn't tell you how much to loosen them. So I'm gonna be pretty generous with how much I loosen them. Imagine that's enough. All right, I'm guessing that's enough to be loosened. Okay, so now uh, remove the heat sink and fan while carefully disconnecting the LED connectors. Okay. And that is what I thought. I thought we didn't. We had some bare spots on our GPU with the thermal paste. Um, we have to be very careful here. Our LED connectors. Yeah, we definitely had not enough um, thermal paste on our GPU from the factory. And it's what I. It's what I thought. My GPU always got very hot. But there's definitely some spots that did not have contact to the GPU, to the cold plate. And uh, that's why when you get a, a graphics card like this, it's um, advisable to remove the cooler like we're doing and reapply thermal paste evenly. Because I don't know if you guys can see on there. Um, it's kind of far away. I don't want to move the camera, but there's spots on the GPU that were not covered. Let's see if we can get this unplugged. Perfect. All right, so that is our cooler. 
now removed. Yeah, I probably could have gotten better thermals just by doing this previously. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, oh, darn it, I dropped my, oh. Drop the paper towels. You also want to have isopropyl alcohol um, when doing this. It's not rubbing alcohol, so that's only 70% alcohol. This is isopropyl, which is 90% alcohol. Um, so it will evaporate much faster. Now, obviously, we're just cleaning off the, uh, the cooler because I'm going to box that up. I'll be boxing that up with the... Um, in the GPU box, but I don't want thermal paste getting everywhere. Mm. Uh -oh. Get off those fins. There was a big chunk of it that was just sitting there off to the side. That probably just never got smushed down properly on the GPU. That makes me feel good because now I know when we have a nice even amount. We picked up some um, some Emmett's 4 thermal compound um, that we're going to be using in between the uh, the new cold plate and the GPU. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to move this guy out of the way. Clean up this GPU. Um, remove the heatsink fan. Blah, blah blah. You may need to gently twist. Clean the card for installation. Remove all thermal grease on the GPU and remove any pads that stick to the PCB. Clean the GPU with high percentage isopropyl alcohol and lint free cloth. You may need to uh, try to reattach the thermal pads to the same location on the original cooler in case. Okay, so we want to take these thermal pads and put them on the cooler. That way they're there if we ever need to go back and put this back on. We're going to go ahead and just clean off. GPU a little bit more. Where did I put that up? Oh. Let's do the thermal pads first. So we only have two thermal pads here. This one's gonna slide off here. This thermal pad was on the VRM on the on the on the one side. And that was right here. Cooler. This was interestingly right on the fins. That, that thermal pad there. Beautiful. Yeah, I cannot believe how many uh, the, the, there's two big spots that were, weren't touching at all on the GPU. David, Mike, what's going on? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, watch the screws. And, oh, I just, yeah, I did just put the damn thing on the screws, didn't I? too worried about the thermal paste that got over on the sides 
of the uh, GPU. Rather not chance rubbing off one of the capacitors. Okay, that's nice and clean. Nice and clean, clean, clean. So let's go on to the next step. Now this is where it gets, I believe, a little bit more tedious. Oh, sorry, sorry all. Okay, let's uh, let's take a little face cam break. A little face cam break. Welcome to it, all the new viewers popping in, guys. I appreciate you guys so much. So we're installing an EVGA water cooler onto our GPU right now. We've uninstalled it from our system. We've cleaned off all the thermal paste. We've taken the thermal pads off, um, and we've re we've we've arranged our screws in a certain order that we've already screwed up. That's okay. <laughs> and now we're going to start attaching the actual bracket to the GPU. Clean the card, remove the thermal grease. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay. Now the question is, do I need to remove this or not? You know what I just realized? We do need to remove this piece. This is actually part of the Yeah, we need to get right to the PCB itself. What were we thinking? Is that screwed in there? They said I would not have to remove this, but this is screwed directly to it. Hopefully I can get to those screws. I might have to take off the back plate. nerve-wracking guys this is nerve-wracking you don't want to pull or pry too hard on anything but we definitely need or to need to remove this plate oh I see this stays Guys, don't worry, this is only only a $1,200 graphics card. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't realize we were out of frame most of the time there. Dude. Okay, we're gonna flip back. 
this way. They said not to remove those screws, but I don't see how we get this off without removing it. without removing those screws. They lied to me in the instructions. Liars. take these thermal pads off of here. Don't rip. Oh no. Don't rip the thermal pads. Ah. That's okay. I'm probably never putting this back on, but just in case I'd like to have it as intact as possible. Okay, there's our blank PCB, guys. So there is a 20 Ti blank PCB for ya. Oh, fun, fun, fun. Oh, let's not do that again. Okay, so now that we did that, all thermal pads are removed, thermal paste is removed. We made it to the other side. Install the memory base plates. This is the memory base plates. Of tape from the bottom of my blah blah. So 
this is joint Joe. Oh, so these chips here are the are the VRAM, are the video memory, and this is the cooling plate that goes on top of that. And this annoying plastic on it. So that helps keep it rigid in shipping. Does that have thermal paste? Oh, that has thermal paste on it. Plastic. So we're going to remove the... just put my fan right in the thermal paste. <laughs> uh. Okay, look at that. Ew. So that's interesting. The thermal paste actually touches the cold plate around GPU. Very interesting. Okay. Let me read these instructions fully here. Tighten four number five screws without a back plate, or number six screws with a back plate with a number one Phillips screwdriver as shown in the photos. Okay, so we need number six screws. Let's get the hardware together here. This also will lock our, our back plate back into place. Well, it's nice that they gave you all new hardware, so if you weren't using the back plate, you could. Oh, so much garbage. screws all right so we need what number or number five screws I guess these are number five screws they say star five star five names number five right <laughs> What's going on, KJ? Welcome, welcome. Sorry, guys, if I'm missing you in chat. My chat window is super tiny. Let me see if I'd make that bigger. I definitely can do that. Oh, I got now. I got thermal paste all over my mouse. Oh, geez, hold on. <laughs> Not thermal paste on the mouse. All I wanted to do was make the chat window bigger. There we go. Now I can see all you guys better. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, let's see here. Ivy's two cents. Yeah, there you go, Benuto man. <laughs> Too funny. All right, four number five screws. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Too many. <laughs> Shoot, these are so tiny. Okay. 
Now, I'm confused because these are the shorter ones. I imagine with the back plate, we want the longer ones. But these are numbers. Uh. <laughs> okay, hold the memory plate in place. They, they, they have, they don't, they told them four and five, but these are labeled as five and seven. These are labeled as five and seven. <laughs> Bastards. Label, label your screws right, PVGA. Help me out here. So we're going with number seven screws. Because... They're longer. It doesn't make sense to use shorter screws if we're using the back plate. These are probably the same exact screws that I have sitting out over there. I imagine. Alright, we have to be very careful. I should have left that plastic on there. That plastic was on there for a reason. Now I know why. To keep your fingers out of the goop. Let's hope. We can do this without it falling apart on us. to, to uh, <laughs> do this one-handed. Come on, touch the thread. switch over to the little bit bigger bit again a little bit bigger bit So stressful, guys. I'm all stressed out. Can't see where the goop is. get this a little bit tighter.
All right. Bracket is installed. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. That step is complete. All right. Uh, install the VRM heatsink. We have to install the VRM heatsink now. Remove the protective tape for 20 ATI models. Install both number four and num uh, and B oh number four A and B heatsinks. I only see. One heat sink. Oh, that the whole thing is the heat sink. They want me to put the whole damn thing on. Or do I do the big one first? Or is it? I gotta take off all the tape. Okay. So many little wires and things on this thing. Jeez. It's three screws. Carefully take off all the tape. You guys stressing out as much as I am over here? Look at that, guys. Look at that. BRM cooling. All right, I did that. <sighs> All the BRM hit sync. Well, both A and B heat sinks with the side with B will slide over a post on the memory heat sink. on there. There. Uh, Alright, screws. We gotta screw these things in. All models hold the number four heat sink in place to turn over a tight number, like one number five screw. Let's the heat sink is shown.
one number eight screw. See, they they don't label the damn screws right. So, but that's that's got to be a single screw. Guessing it's one of these. Mike John, what's going on? This is what happens when you're too cheap to invest in uh, magnetic bits. Magnetic bits for the win, guys. Magnetic bits for the win. What these were magnetic? Don't know if this is the right. That is. Okay, that's installed. Beautiful. Whew. Okay. Um, for all models, hold the number four heatsink in place and turn the car over. Tighten one number five screw. Uh, with that, to secure the heat place as, in this, as shown. Okay, right above the RTX. You have to hold it in place. Flip it over and install one screw. Appreciate you guys all for sticking in with me today. We're going on one hour. We're going on one hour now, so we're installing a uh, a, a water cooler onto our 2080 Ti. And uh, this is a uh, $1,200, $1,300 graphics card. So I'm stressing out, stressing out, guys. Because I, I have it all in parts. <laughs> uh, all right, let's get back to it here. What's going on, RJ guy? Hello. Oh, I know. I'm sorry. I don't have my. I'm on my. I actually have my laptop doing the stream, which is my PC. This is my my gaming PC right here. So, I don't have all the alerts turned on and stuff, guys. I apologize. So no uh, no mic alerts right now. Oh my god, this is heavy. This is so heavy to flip this thing upside down with all this metal on it. Okay, installed, installed. Okay, that is that part. So next, we have to do the pump, I believe. Yes, we have to install the pump. Time to install the pump. Carefully remove the plastic cover over the pump number two without touching the thermal grease. Don't touch the thermal grease, guys. <laughs> Don't touch the thermal piece. You tried to assemble the robot? 
I'll have to do a dance myself. I, I don't know, Mike. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Help remove the plastic over the pump. Before you install the pump, make sure you wrap the fan cable that connects to the VRM heatsink around the pump in a countertop clockwise manner and run the radiator fan wire between the tubing so that it, it will fit in the middle of the grooves of the insert as shown in the photo to the left. You will not be able to adjust the wiring after securing the pump, so it is recommended to do this now. Okay, so we have the pump. pump so this is the cold block that's the piece with the thermal paste on it that attaches to the graphics card you got this plastic on here it's got to come off Here's the wiring they were talking about. So this wiring <sighs> Let's do this before we take the thermal Protection off the off of the thing. So hard to wield with this big tube, with uh, with this heavy radiator. So what they're saying is this wire has to go. This has to go down this way. Right. Both the wires look the same, but they look different in the picture. I'm just going to put them over here for now. Carefully remove the plastic cover over the pump without touching the thermos. Before you install the pump, make sure you wrap the fan cables that connect to the VRM heatsink around the pump in a counterclockwise manner. Run the, the radiator fan wire between the tube wing so that it will fit in the middle of the grooves of the insert. I don't know if that made sense to anyone here. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. I'm gonna run it down and then bolt in between. And hold them there for now, I guess. Oh, I see that they want to do it because you won't be able to get it through there. So what connects to that? That's gonna to connect to there. That would be there. I'm just trying to follow the picture here, guys. Sorry, this is taking so long. This one wraps around on the. This is the one that will have to wrap around and over. And through. That's what we, okay, that's, I see now. 
I see now. All right, let's not get thermal paste all over our fingers again, huh? That was my favorite part of the day, the thermal paste. I'm gonna stick with the stock thermal paste. I wanna, I wanna say that EVGA used good thermal paste on this stuff just go with what they have all right so let's see and stop them blah, blah. but if this goes this way this wire that needs to plug in where where are you plugging in? I have this wire sitting here. And I don't see a place to plug it in. This can wrap all the way around. Let's plug it up. Pump in place. Let's turn the card over and holding the pump in place insert. Four tw uh, mylar washers as shown in the middle foot. Then fasten the pump to the card using four number eight spring screws. Okay, so I need this. Oh, what did I drop? I need the washers and the spring screws. Washers. These are more like stickers than washers. <laughs> yeah, all right, so EVGA, if you ever watch this, you guys need to label your stuff the labeling into the instructions that don't match up correctly and um, that is not ideal not an ideal situation okay. I just need to hold the pump in place And boom, okay. Everything seems to line up. Yeah, this is so hard to do while holding. Damn hard. I wonder if I press it down. Hope I can't put it down, so it's not even. Anybody in Long Island want to stop by? This is, uh, wait a minute, these don't line up. Are these the right things? Hold on. Mylar washers. These are stickers. 
These are not mylar washers. These are washers, but these don't have... Those aren't mylar either. What the hell are mylar washers? Hey guys, in the chat, can you tell me what mylar means? M-Y? Uh, let's see. Insert four number 12 mylar, M-Y-L-A-R washers as shown in the middle photo. Is mylar the stickers? They don't really fit. They're too big. They go over the hole. They're stickers. Yeah, I know. I'm all over my screws. It's okay. <laughs> I know which ones are which now. Yeah, it's mylar. So this is the, the little thing that they gave me. It's just a sticker, a little circle sticker. And I don't know if that's a mylar. Um, I imagine that's just there to protect the card, but the problem is it's too big to fit through the hole. I might just stick them on there and hope they, they, they go in. Mylar's thin film, it's gotta be these then. All right, I'm gonna go for it. But I hope that the uh, screw in the screw and pushes them down. It's definitely pushing them down inside, so I'm thinking that's the way it's supposed to work.
See those? I'm confused. somehow <laughs> it's in there somehow okay that was stressful sorry about that guys let's get back to it here all right now we have to wire things up oh I see yeah that's why they wanted to put this between No, oh, we pinched her. We pinched her good. That's what we were trying to avoid. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we're good, we're good. Free. Free. Goes that way. This comes around. Oh, ba ba ba. Okay. Solve pump power. If all cards run the wires from the pump to the VRM heatsink connector, make sure the wiring covers covered with asshole tape and seated within the groove of the number four heatsink. Ah, so you have to be in the groove. Oh, I get more length on you. I need more length. Okay, you're in the groove. But you're not long enough. Come on. very specific well they're, they're specific in the instructions but in the wrong way <laughs> now it's too long guess I'm just gonna tuck you over here maybe that's what these are for Hope we don't need those metal things for anything so I'm keeping that wire there. That's connected. There's no way for this to wrap all the way around and then still have enough. Maybe. Not really, it's just not long enough to go all the way that way. 
We gotta go down. Maybe I'll go up and then down. Keep the access up there. Nope. The access has gotta come this way. This is all going to be under the shroud anywhere, anyway, so I'm not too worried about it. Kind of a pain to mess with now. You know what, I wish I had some tape. Piece some tape. <sighs> okay. Um, put the MOSFET fan cable into the 19 fan RGB header. Okay, so this plugs into there. My screws are all a mess. <laughs> okay, you're plugged in. Beautiful. All right, let's see what the chat's saying here. Use zip ties as Archie. Yeah, zip ties would be ideal. I don't know if I, I have any zip ties. I, I have, um, oh, <laughs> hey, Archie. I don't know if I have any zip ties. They're sitting right in the bag. I they give you a few. That's nice of them. That's nice of them. Great, good idea, Archie. <laughs> Thank you. Archie, what's it, everybody? The man, the legend. Zip tying it up for Archie, what's it? <sighs> Get in there. Right there, it's right there. It's not moving. It's not going anywhere. Um, that's connected. That's connected. Is there anything on connected? That's that's not connected. The shroud. Um, position the shroud adjacent to the graphics card by using the tubes as reference. Take the shroud. Align it. As the tubes as reference. I hope they told me where to put that damn. Oh, I see. They just want me to plug it in. They just want me to plug it in using this little wire here. This one here. Those just get tightened. Shoot, I just pulled it off like a moron. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> oh, that's that should go badly if I did that real bad.
Got flip chin up throw, chip chin up throw on the shroud. All right, we need to run that wire through there. Make sure it doesn't get into the fan. And then we install the screws, install the hybrid radiator fan cable. Install the number one shroud onto the car and make sure these go. One number eight. Only one screw to get to the shroud. Okay. It's easy peasy. stickers with us and I think that number eight screw was that other one that we had yeah we're almost there guys we're almost there I appreciate all you guys that have been sticking with me uh, Brandon I was getting hot I definitely was getting up towards 85 degrees now, when I took off my uh, my heat sink, um, I did notice my thermal paste was not very well applied from the factory onto my air cooler. So I probably could have gotten better thermals um, just by reapplying thermal paste without having to go through all this. But if I had to take it apart anyway, I don't mind. This is going to give me much better thermals now. They really need to do a much better job of labeling the screws. Very annoying. I'm going to guess
not one of those. Maybe a long one. Man, we might actually get my computer back up and running today. <laughs> See if it's one of the lawn skins. It seems about right. Okay. Route is installed. Uh oh. Hoping that fan is meant to be that rough. I've never seen a fan not. That's scary. That fan is like right up against the heat sink. That can't be installed like that. So hopefully. Hopefully that's okay, we'll see. We shall see. If it starts making crazy noises, we know we got issues. Seems like it's rubbing. Oh, it's definitely rubbing on the shroud. The shroud's up too high. Oh, I see it's not on all the way. The shroud did not come down all the way across the bottom. That. There it goes. There she is. Now she's rubbing where? Over here. very annoying I guess once I tighten everything up that should pull it down all right let's keep going here <laughs> tighten the bracket fasten the back plate and finish um, Alright, so now once we tighten everything up, yeah, it should all pop into place here. So first things first, we're going to tighten these guys up that we loosened earlier. Now it says to use whatever screws we had taken out and replace them. So 
I know where most of these went. Even though it's almost two hours ago. <laughs> So yeah, these all screw right into the shroud as well and hold it on. That's good. Bunny Imps, hello. Brandon, hello. Eshmerel, Venuto Man, ARJ Die, Demon Mike, Mike Young, KJ, PC Gaming, and uh, Brandon. Guys, appreciate you guys all for hanging out and chatting along here. Sorry, I've been really engrossed in the tech and not reading along. Um, so, Venuto Man renewed his membership today. I appreciate that very much, Venuto Man. You're awesome. Venuto Man, uh, another awesome. I don't know if you guys have checked out Venuto Man's Beat Saber streams. They're next level. Uh, Gaming Mike, another awesome GetNip Gang member. Guys, if you haven't checked out the GetNip Gang, make sure you type in hashtag GetNip Gang in the chat. Get that link and go check out our Discord server. It is next level. Boy bit, hello. But you already thought I was cool. <laughs> Thanks, Boy bit. Uh, now we'll, we'll be uh, we'll be chilly. Now we'll be chilly. Now that one that we had a bolt on before does not seem to have the bolt here anymore, but plastic shroud is there now, so it screws right into that. That's awesome.
was a short screw before. Actually, where was that? I bet you it is this one. those threads to catch. Okay, all right, this then plugs into here. And that provides power to that fan. And I think we're about ready to install her back in the computer, guys. All right, I'm gonna take two minutes and just uh, talk to you guys for a little bit. All right, guys, that was uh, huh, that was fun. So we got it all back together now. Um, very interesting process. I hope you guys enjoyed that. It was um, you know, a little bit longer than I was hoping for that to go. That was almost an hour and a half, almost hour and forty-five minutes. So um, wow, I'm I'm really happy that it's all done. So look, now we have oh, we have a radiator. So this is all filled with liquid already. And this is the uh, GPU on there. That fan is free moving now, so I was worried about that. We got the cold block on there. That's gonna install. I'm gonna take my case. We're gonna take out the top right um, fan that's there now. And I hope that we have clearance for this radiator. <laughs> now that I looked at it, there better be clearance for that radiator there. I think there should be, but... Um, that would be funny if we went through all of this and it doesn't fit. Worst case, we'll have to put it in the top of the case going this way. But I'd prefer to have it going um, this way. I want it to be going in 
the top right of the case just like that. That'll look awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna clean up some of these screws and get everything together and bring the computer up there and we'll get her installed. So, oh, I'm, I'm aiming it at the wrong camera. Sorry guys. So there's the, uh, the radiator, the cooler on there. But like I was saying, I want this to be in the top right, exhausting out of the case. Um, so yeah, let's get cleaned up and we'll get there. Aiming at the wrong camera, guys. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, so how is everyone's Tuesday afternoon going? Let's put all the little screws back together in here. So many extra screws. Don't worry, they're not extra because we have extra. They're extra because we uh because we used everything we were supposed to. <laughs> We didn't need the thermal paste. Hopefully that thermal paste they have on there is better thermal paste than they had originally. Um, I'm curious what all these little extra things are for. I didn't see them mentioning them. They didn't mention any of these parts <laughs> in the instructions. They did give these little, these nice little EVGA zipped uh, uh, Velcro ties, which is nice. Eshmael says, I learned how to install an EVGA cooler, I think. Nice, I'm glad you learned something. That's the point. That is the point for sure. Uh, we'll keep these, we'll keep the zip ties out. I may need the zip ties. Uh, I really don't want zip ties in this system. I'll use the EVGA straps. Uh, put all the random screws in this little baddie. So guys, let me know what you think of this content on the channel. I know it's not the normal No Man's Sky uh, live streams, um, but I, I really enjoy this kind of stuff. I really enjoy the technology that goes into playing the games that we play. Um, and I hope you guys are enjoying today today was that was a lot of fun i really enjoyed doing that um, and now we get to install her all right let's take this is the old cooler again that was the old air cooler we had on there oh, there we go that was the old air cooler that all came off that's gonna have to get wrapped up nice and put in the box where am i putting her or over here oh i still have I still have coffee. Mm. Oh, sweet coffee. All right, we're gonna very nicely put her over here for now on the chair. I dropped one of the thumb screws. Alright, so first thing is first, I want to clean her out a little bit. Ooh, flip that dust.
Then with canned dairy, you can't tilt it or else it'll stand her up because I want to get this bottom. This bottom is very dusty. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Ew. Ew. Dusty. It's gonna freeze in my hand. It's gonna freeze in my hand the canned air. Oh, so fresh and so clean. I did just clean my front uh, intake fi uh, filters recently. Those are good. Um, you know what I would like is a paper towel. bit of alcohol. If I don't do this now and I install this card without doing this, I will never ever open her back up and dust her out again. So I might as well do it now. I spilled alcohol all over my hands. Oof. Okay, that's enough of the cleaning. Let's install the card. All right, I'd like to do a little bit nicer wire management. I wonder if I should reroute these wires while we're at it. Um, no. Ah, that's a that's bad. Done. Now that you start dusting, you start seeing all the dust everywhere. That you missed. Sorry guys, sorry for the cleaning lesson here. <laughs> enough dusting now yeah I did some hard drives to use these hard drive sleds for
You know what, I think I am gonna rerun these wires. Beat my GPU power cables. Get her installed first. Ideally, I want to put this, ooh, I'm going to be a little cramped with all the wires. I want that down that way. Should I, should I interweave these? Since I have a G, this, the, the cooler on, on the uh, CPU, I did have it go in and around these tables. I got to do it so they don't kink. Yeah, that's going to have to go that way. Well, let's get this wrap off here. Get that fan. We gotta get that fan on installed. Oh, you know what? We'll do those. We'll do those while we're here. You know, thumb screws are nice, but they, when they don't thread by themselves and you need a screwdriver anyway, what's the point? in my hand I'm like where's that bracket guys where's that bracket where'd it go i don't know where the bracket went installed there I don't even I don't know where these uh where this fans plugged into I gotta reroute this wire too
Okay. Old fan out. Dude, where are you routed? You're routed up there. What are you... gonna get messy. We're gonna undo the back panel. <laughs> We're gonna unplug the back panel. This is where all the wires live. <laughs> This fan here, system fan four being unplugged. Perfect. So now we're going to take this guy. This fan is blowing in what direction? We don't want the radiator. We gotta do this so we don't twist the tubes too much. It's just going to make it. Look at that. That's going to be beautiful. Too bad that fan's not all RGB'd up. <laughs> all right, uh-oh, stepping on boxes. Perfect. Everything lines up, that's wonderful. That's where we want it. And we still have to figure out how we get these tubes looking nice, but we'll make them look nice once we get there. Um, what screws are we using for this? Put away the screws. Put away all the screws. That's what these screws are. That's what I imagine these screws are. Hopefully these are the right screws. <laughs> Locking all the light, sorry guys. Do one, let's see if this is the right screw or not. We'll know right away. We'll know right away when we puncture the radiator.
Sorry guys, I can't see chat at all from over here. I'll be back there in a minute. the camera too this is a horrible angle a horrible angle we go around the other side here go around the other side that way we could reach out you think that was jet nip not coffee in the cup this wasn't instructional oh i'm sorry just but it wasn't instructional Boners, thank you for the like. want to see my horrible wire management here I'll turn it around for you my horrible wire management actually we gotta do some wire management over here because this this is not gonna fly having this thing is popping out over here we gotta hide her we gotta hide this this cable so let's lay her down let's lay her down we'll re-angle the camera here You know what? I need to put the back plate back. The back plate, what a new. We gotta hide this wire. This wire is gonna go under this fan. Right under the. Right there. Can't have any wire showing. I was gonna zip tie it right to the tube. I decided that this is this is a nicer solution. We're in here. Come on, stay down. Okay. Now 
uh, these tubes I want to bend a little bit. I can't tank them. Down like that. What do you guys think? Do you think? I mean, I know it's a lot of tubing going on in there. I got Medusa now inside my rig. Oh, I'm not gonna bother routing these. I'm just gonna put them back in. I was trying to route these from the bottom and come up this way with these red ones, um, with the power cables. That's the more traditional way to do it. But um, I kinda like the way it, well now everything's coming out of here, but that's okay. I can't wait to get this thing up and running, guys. I cannot wait. It's going to be awesome. This cable trainer. These cables are so hard to train. Okay. They're all in. Coolers installed, powers installed. We're all dusted up, fans installed. Last panel's gonna be right there. That's gonna be it's a it's a lot of a lot of tubing going on in there. Oh, right on the on the screw. That's all these fingerprints are. Yeah, that's on the. Yeah. my thumb screws. I dropped one thumb screw earlier. The fun part's gonna be plugging everything back in. We have so many things to plug back into this damn thing. Let's find that other thumb screw. Where is she? We got her. We found it. It's okay. <laughs> I should have done the whole stream from down here so you can see my face. <laughs> the house is going to burn down from a power surge. Oh, Archie, don't jinx me, brother. Don't jinx me. All right, let's see. Can I reach everything over here? I gotta bring the computer over. Plug everything in. Uh, let's see. We're gonna move the camera over. I'll bring the other camera over. And over top here. Microphone's gonna be behind me. Uh, I can't change that for now. Well, I'll have to yell, I guess. Oh, she's heavy. She's a big girl. Oh.
Oh, wait, anything doesn't plug in. Plenty of wires. Guys, I'm gonna be back here for a while. Sorry. <laughs> so many things to plug in. That's way. Oh, that's way too far down. Yeah. But I'll be over here for a little while. behind the, the, the uh, desk, I'm screwed. The moment of truth, guys. Bring you in close. Moment of truth. Is she gonna turn on? Oh yeah. Oh, I didn't even realize I had said EVGA hybrid on it. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I'm gonna leave you guys over here. We're gonna run through some benchmarks and stuff and see how she how she holds up. Oh, look at that fan. Oh, it's gonna feel good to sit down. Oh. oh, I hope you guys are having as much fun as I am. Now I can't move this microphone the other way, unfortunately. So um, you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the webcam. Uh, <laughs>
Now that didn't work. All right, I'm gonna up the gain. Sorry if it gets a little noisy. Okay. Okay, let's see. Okay, hybrid. Fan spinning. Fan is spinning. My temperatures right now are 33C on the GPU. 33C on the GPU. Oh, that's wondrous. Um, let's load up uh, Valley Benchmark. Load up Valley Benchmark and see where we go. Full load. Normally, I would I couldn't even hear my computer right now. Man, I'm 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 getting much higher. I'm up to 2070 on the clocks. I'm getting 120 frames per second. I'm not, I'm I am rock. Oh my goodness. We're gonna overclock the heck out of her, guys. We're gonna overclock the heck out of her. <laughs> oh. I'll bring this over this way. Bring it over to the other, the other monitor here. So right now we are hitting uh, just 47 degrees, 48. Let's see where she tops out as we run this benchmark. If I can keep it under 60 degrees Celsius at full load, uh, we'll be able to push some really nice uh, overclocks. Oh, but it's so much quieter. It's so much quieter. Normally, guys, I'd have a jet engine in here right now. I just hope it stays under 60. If it can stay under 60, pushing these kind of clocks, I'm going to be very happy. Shouldn't be no higher than 50. Oh, no, man. Not on a 20 ATI. 53, I'll take. I'll take. I mean, I have it overclocked right now. So I'm hitting 2000 meters, 2010. And then when it jumps, it jumps up to 2040. Normally, it would never jump up that high. Normally, 2020, I would, it would be, you know, and then I would go down. Once it got hot, it would never go above 2000 again. But the, the noise difference is amazing. I want to see if it gets heat soaked. You know, heat soaked is when it you know just gets hotter and hotter and hotter. I want to see where it stops getting hotter. So we're up to 54 degrees. If it goes above that, then we'll start pushing the clocks higher. We'll start overclocking her a bit more. And then we'll play some No Man's Sky. We'll play some No Man's Sky with uh, frame rates on frame rate on cap. Yeah, I, I don't think she's gonna go above 54 at all. She's going 54 to 52. Uh, let's see.
Okay, we're gonna see how far we can push her. Right now we're pushing 70 on the on the, um board, and so we're gonna go a, th a thousand up on the memory. I'm gonna do 110 by save. Higher at much cooler temperatures now, a little bit. Now that we have a liquid cooler, we gotta adjust all of our fan curves. Go up higher faster. I want them to cool it. Yes, once it hits 50 degrees, I want to be at 80% fans. And if it ever goes above 50, 60, pop them all the way up. We'll see how noisy it gets. See how noisy that gets. 40. At 60 at 30. That's too low. No, we have to do 60. Save that to profile one. Save, save. Load up, uh, let's load that up again and see. Now I am expecting, I am expecting temperatures to pop up a bit more now as we are quite a bit more overclocked, but that clock speed should stay a little bit heavier. But we did up the fan speed, so we'll see. Yeah, we're hitting 2100. 2100 never gone before below 2025 now about 2010 that dip off is is the yeah now that we got that pump going still super quiet Still super quiet. I'm happy, guys. What temperature is too high? What are you talking about? We're at 52 degrees. Call that a win. I almost couldn't find No Man's Sky on the desktop for a minute.
All right, so now we're gonna turn. Um, at what temperature do you start getting concerned? I was I was hitting 80 degrees Celsius before. Um, 80 degrees Celsius before, so getting getting sits under 60 right now. I'm thrilled. Oh no. Man, No Man's Sky, I don't know what it is. You know what it is? I'm probably going to have to redo the graphics. I don't know what it is with No Man's Sky, but something messes up. Um, for some reason, No Man's Sky hasn't been loading correctly. See how it makes the other monitor go off? Whenever it does that, there's something wrong with the display setting. If that doesn't activate the G. So let's just try a restart. All right, restart. Let's see. That's a it's a bug that No Man's Sky has right now with the uh, loading the old drivers. They said they fixed it, but didn't. I gotta clean my monitor. Jeez. I gotta clean my monitors. Uh, Casey, no, I've never set a PC on fire. Luckily. Oh, I have the monitors reversed. I have the main monitors reversed when I plug them in. That'll do it. Gotta go back here. I believe that's the issue. We'll see. We'll see. if she loads up right away. Yep, all right, we're good. Yeah, for some reason, it, when it's the the monitors are in the other, region. so my my goal is to play it. Oh, I I don't have my I have my headphones plugged in over here, so you guys won't get any game audio. I apologize. All right, so we're going to make sure that we turn the um, 
frame rate limit off. That's just gonna, gonna run this thing crazy. Go 130 frames per second. Smooth as butter. Oh, all, almost up to 50C already. Let's see. We're, we're holding holding some good clock speeds, though. So the test will be running around on planet. Because running around on planet is what really um, knocks the CP, knocks the GPU. Up to fifty four degrees C. Up to fifty four. Yeah, nothing, nothing like No Man's Sky on on no frame limit limit count to really make a GPU light on fire. But yeah, normally I'd be at 80, 85C right now if I wasn't, and I'd, my frames would be dropping because of it. So we're holding steady at like um, between 90 and 130 frames. Whoa. I think I just swooped right down to the ground. Wow. I like the swoopers. Oh, we're up to 56C. But we're still holding 2040 um, on the on the clock speed. As long as we don't go over 63, it'll it won't it won't throttle down. I'll tell you that the laptop that's um, sit, that's over here streaming is louder than the than the desktop, which is a great great big difference. All right, guys. Well, I think that's gonna that's gonna do it for this stream. I appreciate you guys for being here today. This was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is a very different kind of stream for us. Um, I definitely will be doing more tech related content. You know, maybe more edited uh, versions. But I wanted the first one to be kind of a kind of a really cool one. And us installing this uh, liquid cooler on the GPU was a lot of fun. Um, it was a success. It worked out really well. The temperatures I'm, I'm super happy with. Well, we're up to 57 degrees. 58, 58. That's okay. That's all right. Again, I was hitting 85 degrees when I was on air. Um, and I think a big reason for that. Let me see if I can show you really quick. Um, 
Um, oh, I cleaned it off. Cleaned it off. Anyway, this is the cold plate where the GPU would would sit um, right on that metal piece, and you could see two spots where the thermal paste was had never been squished out and applied to the GPU. So I'm fairly certain that the GPU was overheating because of that when I was on uh, on air. But now that we have have this going, it's uh, I'm super pumped, super happy. And again, guys, I appreciate you guys for being here so much. Boy, but have a good one. Girls Fitzer, thanks for coming out. John Cox, Complicated Mike, uh, Just In Case, J Spot J, KJ Gaming, uh, Venuto Man, Casey Bolster, Archie What's It. Uh, I know Damon Mike was here. I know um, there's Complicated Mike. You guys are incredible. Guys, thank you so much. Oh, I'm, I'm leaning, leaning at the wrong camera again. All right, guys, I'll catch you all later. Have a good one. <laughs> I, oh, I have no closing. Oh, I ha you know what I'll do? I'll do the intro again for you.